um, they come to our competitions and they think, oh, well, this is a bit different, yeah. you know. So, so I think that uh, by because uh, from, apart from anything, we change gender roles. So, um, you know, the straight world is all full of sort of aren't the men are the leaders and the women are just the little dolls that get knocked around the place and swished from side to side. Mm. Well, in the in the competitions for same sex dancing. You do, um, you know, you you can change roles. So one minute, if you're a man, one man will be leading and taking the lead role. The next minute, they've changed hands, and the other, and you've changed around, around, around the other way, and you get marks for gender changing. Oh really? Yeah, oh, yeah. It's sort of, it's one, you know, it's, it's valued. You know what I mean? That's good. Okay, 1995, I started to run uh, the night Jackie's jukebox. It's called at the Riverley Ballroom. And um, I'm holding up a picture of the ballroom here. You won't be able to see me because I'm right at the end of the room. But you can see it's a, a really old ballroom. It's one of the um, it's one of the um, only ballrooms really that's uh, left in London. And I'm very um, proud of the fact that I started that night in 1995. I've been there every Saturday, every first Saturday of the month for all those years right up to now, which is 2010. And um, uh, each month, uh, a crowd of lesbian and gay men come and they just come and dance. And actually, it's, it's a mixed night. It's, it's, the o it's very unique. It's the only mixed um, lesbian and gay and straight night. So you get some elderly people Walking around the room next to two tall, lanky, twenty-four-year-old gay men dancing. It's 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 a very um, interesting environment, and that's also the venue where the Pink Jute Box run the Pink Jute Box Trophy, which is our annual dance competition. And I've got a picture here of myself and my partner um, taking part in 1999 in uh, the Pink Jute Box trophy and this is the this is the certificate that we won at the time um, I think we came first in the C category or something like that probably um, but uh, I've been organizing competitions same-sex dance competitions there ever since and um, there was a couple of pictures here I'll just hold them up for a minute this is a very long time ago now um, uh, and we're still competing. Mary and I, we travel around all over the world. We went to the Amsterdam Gay Games and we um, participated there. And we went to the Gay Games in Montreal. And this year we're actually taking part in the Gay Games in Cologne, uh, Cologne yeah, in July. It's going to be fantastic. Usually get about, um, well, between 10,000 and 14,000. There's been a gay men taking part in that. So quite a few of us go from London. Uh, I've got some other pictures here. These are actually it looks like a load of sailors, but um, they're pictures of uh, the pink dancers performing at the Greenwich Dance Agency. And uh, there is myself and my partner Mary in the group. And we had sailor costumes made up for this particular performance because it had a theme. The theme of the night was uh, travelling around the world. And we all, we all um, had our costumes uh, like sailors. Uh, but uh, you can see it's a really great group to belong and take part. And uh, we've travelled all over the world with them and have taken part in the Stonewall um, Labour Party conference there. Um, oh, yeah, the Riverley Ballroom. Uh, it's unique. It's got red velvet walls and chandeliers. And as I say, I've only missed, I think I've missed four DJing slots in 15 years. So I've been there the first Saturday of every month um, for all those years. You get transvestites coming, you get, uh, you know, um, just all sorts of different uh, people. Men lead, the ladies can lead, you get two women dancing together, two men dancing together. And sometimes when we do the community dances, which is um, 
things like the Mayfair Quick Step and the Lilac Waltz. It means people changing partners. So one minute, you know, you get a, a couple in their 80s trotting around the floor, you know, doing a certain dance. And the next minute, everybody moves on and the old gentleman's got a gay man on the end of his hand and he trots around, he does it. And now, you know, after 15 years, nobody backs an eyelid about who they're dancing with, what sex they are, whether they've got a mini skirt on and they're a man, or, you know, whether they've got a, a, a tuxedo and suit on as, and they're a woman, uh, or whether they're just, you know, Mr. and Mrs. and Mrs. Average from down the road. They all get on the floor at the same time. I don't know any other place anywhere where there's such tolerance for less than gay people.